Majority of us naturals are aware of the obvious causes of breakage, like combing your hair dry, wearing tight hairstyles, and not moisturizing your hair. Just to list a few. But while there are causes that are clearly recognizable and easy to figure out, there are just some things that are hard to imagine and probably we would never imagine could be a cause of breakage. Stick with me to the end of this video while I uncover some uncommon and possibly unknown causes of breakage that might be the reason why you're not seeing much progress with your hair. Who doesn't love to change their hair up from time to time? And bamboo beads are just the perfect little accessories to add that spice and jazz to your already beautiful natural hair. I will not lie guys, these beads are mad cute. But did you know that they have the potential to cause breakage? If your bamboo beads have any chips or cracks on the inside, it's easy for your hair to get caught onto them and potentially break off. Whatever type of beads you're using on your hair guys, even if it's bamboo because I will not come on here and tell you guys not to wear your bamboo beads. I myself think about trying these out one day. But guys, make sure the inside of your beads are always smooth to prevent any possibility of breakage while wearing your beads it's funny how at one point i was wearing these a lot to accessorize my twist guys but i had no idea what they were called these are called adjustable cuffs or dreadlock beads such cute little accessories but yes guys these two have the potential to cause some serious breakage what i noticed while wearing these is that when i would remove them from my hair uh, sometimes my strands would get caught in those little holes or dense i'm not even sure what to call those and i had to be meticulously careful to get those trans out without them breaking just be careful with these guys because they don't have a completely smooth surface it's full of patterns and jagged surfaces so it's easy for your hair to get caught in it and break off scalp massagers have become a staple for most natural i myself use them from time to time to massage my scalp on wash days and during the week if i feel like it but what i realize with using a scalp massager is if you use it too aggressively you can cause your hair to break as you're moving in circular motions as well as back and forth your hair can get caught onto the bristles and snap i have seen sharp pieces of hair some of the times while using the scalp massager so i advise you guys to be gentle when using this tool and watch out for any strand or strands that might get attached to it so you don't run the risk of breaking your hair there's nothing more annoying than when i'm detangling my hair and a strand gets snagged in my fingernail and the sound and sight of my hair snapping into always makes me cringe and sad for breaking my strand this is something that's easy to avoid guys by just sanding your fingernails and keeping them trimmed at all times because when they're jagged and chipped it's so easy for your hair to get caught in them while you're detangling or just styling your hair and break off I'm not sure if I should categorize bobby pins as a tool or an accessory but what I know is that bobby pins are really popular amongst us naturals because they are super helpful when it comes on to achieving certain styles that keep our ends tucked away or keep our hair from falling apart. But my experience with bobby pins has shown Just me the possibilities for them to cause breakage. Their tightly closed mechanism makes it easy for them to snag the hair and cause snapping when removing them from When the removing hair. bobby pins from your hair guys, make sure to open the pin wide enough while removing This will it. prevent it from locking onto your strands causing you to rip your strands out. 